Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, October 13, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you will hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to support our channel over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have basically been all over the place today. We're up 0.29% at this current stage, but we were all the way down here at 4,334 and uh, then basically rallied. So uh, that is a positive sign. I was expecting for this to basically start pulling back towards 150, but um, it shows sign of life at the end of the US session. If you look at the MACD, it is basically flat still. RSI is bearish. CCI is bearish. Stochastic is becoming bullish. And we're struggling here at the middle of the bullish band. So it may well be that we get rejected here yet again and then fall back to the bottom of the bullish band. And that will make sense because that's previous lows here and also just above the 150 moving average. So if we manage to break above the 50 moving average, then it's very likely that we'll go back to that very high. So um, long term, uh, this probably is just a minor pullback. We are only down roughly 8%, 6%, and that is a fairly small pullback compared to the previous pullbacks that we have in the past. So, so um, breaking above the 50, that will basically be the end of this uh, most likely. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So Nasdaq also struggling here at the 100, 100 moving average. We did uh, we did pull back just a bit and then rally. We're up 0.65% at this current stage. And um, yes, we need to basically break above the 50 moving average in order to confirm that we are going to go higher. If you look at the MACD, it is still bearish. RSI is also, bear also bearish. CGI is bearish and so is the stochastic. So momentum is still to the downside. Nasdaq has dropped roughly 8.4% uh, to its very low, and that is a fairly uh, small pullback compared to other pullbacks that we have seen uh, the last year or two. So, so at this current stage, I wouldn't be surprised if we fell towards uh, 150 and found support there. If that breaks, then the 200 moving average is down right here, and that's a move of 10% to the downside. That would be a, a better buy-in than, than at this current stage. But um, it is kind of guessing game whether or not we fall towards the 150 or 200, or we basically rally to the upside. It is to be seen. So... Hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.